I think she knows now to hold it wide open. And, <laughs> and that's a thing where, you know, sometimes, especially – Wait, let's rewind that. Not having the experience. You know, Soda. I want to hear what the hell happened. And welcome back to Daytona. I'm Jamie Little, joined by Phil Parsons, Chase Briscoe. We have Kate Osborne and Josh Sims on pit road bringing you the action today. Let's listen to the 25 radio and what they're talking about, Cody Brininger. Looking like it's down or something, but then we run them down everywhere else. Tony, are you wide open? Yeah, wide open right now. Were you lifty getting into the corner at all? Before I was, now I'm not. Yeah, you can't. It's strappy. Wide open the whole damn time. We can't lift the strap. Well. Okay, I need to say something because I'm fucking angry. They. Fuck, I'm so angry. They didn't just go, oh, let's listen to the 25 and just let's just hear what they're talking about right now. No, they knew damn well what they were fucking talking about before they played that clip. They played that well before they aired it on the TV and they knew exactly what they said. And I swear to God, these, these broadcasters and the people that run FS1 and do all the whoever's in charge of making the TV work and what goes on what and what they say and what they talk about are assholes because they made her look stupid and she's not fucking stupid she's a badass race car driver and they should have never they should have oh my god like they knew what they were doing right there natalie listen listen to what i'm saying okay this is this is what i'm talking about it is it is absolutely ridiculous to sit here and and blow this out of proportion where you act like they're they're trying to make this girl look like you know they're trying to make tony look like she's like idiotic or some shit it is a race car driver okay male or female it doesn't matter it is a race car driver she is racing and and they're telling her to not lose the draft she's done about you know she's done about had like two or three close calls to where she could have you know crashed and wrecked and everything like that but it is idiotic to sit here and make a, a big deal or a big point or make a over the top you know concept out of how they're trying to make her look stupid and all this other shit guy or girl okay she's a race car driver they're going to tell her hey look we don't want you lifting in the corners we don't want you to lift and getting in the corners we want you to keep you know keep up keep with the draft hang on to the draft they don't want you to lose the draft and go lap down but to sit here and stop it and point out and try to make it like you know that's the very first thing oh they're trying to make you look stupid sure trying to make her look dumb they're trying to make her look dumb no, they're not. It's a little bit of controversy. It's a little bit of hostility. It's a little bit of, you know, like them just trying to get onto it. It's just part of it. That's part of racing. They would tell a guy the exact same thing that they would tell her. They would let her let him know the exact same thing. They'd be like, hey, look, we don't want you lifting. We don't blah, blah. But I mean, it's condescending to sit here and act like they're supposed to hide this or they're supposed to not say it or they're not supposed to air it or something like that. When they've had her on here this entire race, right? They've had her highlighted. They've had her, you know, the, the camera pointed on her, all this other stuff. They've done showed, you know, like I said, she's had two, three close calls and stuff like that. So, you know, she may be just trying to kind of just calm down a little bit. She may be a little, her nerves may be up a little bit. She may be a little bit. You know what I mean? Like like trying to just kind of chill out and stuff like that. And they just want to make sure she keeps the draft. But what, what, why would you why would you expect them to, to like block it out or not play it or not do it? That's it's the race. It's she's a race car driver. OK, a, a girl or guy, it doesn't matter. They'd be doing the same thing for a dude. And she just goes on and on and on. How about how the broadcasters are stupid and and they're ignorant and fuck FS1 is dumb and the people that choose or play it and and play the clips back and play all this stuff is dumb and they try to make girls look stupid and stuff like that. If it was a guy and they were saying the exact same thing, you'd be sitting there saying, exactly, yeah, yeah, you're not supposed to be lifting. What in the hell is he doing? Like, why is he lifting in the corners? That don't make no sense. Like, you know, hold the shit wide open. That's what we're doing. We're at Tal- or we're at Daytona, you know. It's like if there's not five cars in front of you, if you're not right up on somebody's ass or if you're not like – you know what I mean? There, there ain't wrecking right in front of you and smokes everywhere. Like, obviously, like, hold it wide open, right? Like, don't lose the draft. We don't want to go lap down. But uh, she just blows this shit way out of proportion. Like, they're supposed to block it out or they're supposed to hide just a little bit of controversy. They're not trying to make her look dumb. They're not trying to make her look stupid. And the whole point that you would, like, point it out, like, you know what I mean? Like, makes her look, makes her look 
dumb or stupid. Like, and I'm not saying that she is. I'm just saying the way that you pointed out makes her look that way when they're just, it's just a crew chief telling a driver to hold it wide open. That's at the end of the day, that's what that is. That's not, it doesn't matter if you're a girl, doesn't matter if you're a guy, they're just telling her to hold it wide open. And it's just, that's just part of racing. That's what racing is, right? Like, and that just, like, makes women look dumb, and women aren't fucking dumb. Like, we know what the hell we're doing, and that no, it pisses me off that they did that. Dumb. I did not watch this. No, it that does not. That was so fucking no, rude of not. them. That is... And, like, that, see, see what I'm saying? That's so fucking rude of them. What are you talking about, girl? Like, I, what are you what are you talking about? It is not rude of them to sit there and listen to a crew chief tell, kind of get onto their driver a little bit and tell her not to lose the draft. It doesn't matter if she's a girl or a guy, remember. It's just... That's just part of racing. That's what... They would do that to anybody. It wouldn't matter if she was a guy or a girl. Like... Pisses me off so much that they did that. Holy shit. I'm, like, shaking mad. That is so stupid. And that shouldn't... They shouldn't do that. And that is not okay. It's not like they were like, mm, let's see what they're talking about. I don't know what they're saying. Oh, whoa. That's what they're saying? Like, ooh, we caught them at a bad time. No. They have they've went and fucking found that because they wanted to make her look dumb. And she's not dumb. That... Oh, wow. No, they're not. Like, I know Arca's oh not NASCAR, God, but, like, dude. it's all the same. Yes, all... yes, yes. Arca is NASCAR. Yes, it sure is. Yes, it's a, it's a division. It's a subdivision of NASCAR. Just as much as NASCAR's will, the Will and Modified series. All are the same. And then it's not okay. It is not okay. I've had so many times when I was racing in the ARCA series where the broadcasters just talk shit. They were talking shit about me and trying to make me look stupid. And that's what they just did right here. That is not okay. Like, that is that is not okay. Oh, and my should not God, happen, dude. Ever. Like, what the Anyways, fuck is this girl it. on? What is she talking about? And they're fucking laughing at her. Are you like, are you fucking kidding me? That it, like, what the hell? They just said, ha, 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 yeah, they're, I'm sure she's going to, you know, uh, hold it wide open now or something like that. Or I'm sure she got the message. Like, they're just chuckling about it. Like, it, it. Seriously, this, like, back in the day, the people in the booth were talking and praising about the drivers. Like, they were the best athletes, the best drivers in the world, raced in this series. Shit. And that's how they treated them, and that's how they talked about them, and that's why the fans loved all of them and thought they were badass. And nowadays, in the booth, they sit up there and talk shit. Well, I'd like to see you down in there in her car doing a better job. Okay. Maybe there was fucking miscommunication between her and her crew chief, and they thought they had to save some fuel or some shit, and that's why she was lifting a little bit. Because if you were going to be lifting, it would be on entry in the corner. Because that would be the best time to do it if you need to save fuel. D d what is she fucking talking about, dude? There, what are you talking about saving fuel? There, she has not tried to save fuel. Like, she is, she is lifted. I, I don't know why she's lifting, obviously, but... She is not trying to save fuel, Natalie. That's not. I, I, that is not what she's doing. They're just. They are trying. They. They. They don't want her to lose the draft, and they don't want her to go a lap down. Right. They don't want her to lose the draft. They don't want her to fucking. You know. Uh, you know. Obviously, they want. You know. Want her to, to hang on to the draft. They want her to keep up there and and keep up with the the main pack. Keep up with the. You know. Keep up with the the lead pack. They don't want her to to you know go a lap down. So. I don't know, man. Just by making a big deal out of it, I feel like you you you're kind of condescending what you're saying. Like the whole fact that you're making a big deal about it kind of dictates like it's it is a big deal. Like you shouldn't act that way just because she's a female, right? Like she is she is a driver. She is driving in the fucking in the race. She's going. That's what she's going to do. She's going to you know they're going to tell her these things just as much as they would tell a guy. So. They're not trying to make her look dumb. If you take that as them trying to make her look dumb, it's just a little bit of controversy. It's a little bit of, you know, slight hostility. The the crew chief's getting on the driver a little bit. That's all they're playing. That's why they're playing it. It's not to make nobody look stupid or not make nobody look dumb. Like, you know, get your confidence up a little bit. Like, you know, they're not talking about you. God damn it. I fucking hate this sport sometimes. Anyways, well, then okay, don't compete. It. Like, uh, don't compete in it. Then, like, you're not, you're not entitled to a spot out there because you're a wow. female. I just, I can't believe it. 
you act as if you're entitled to be out there because you're female and when like we only heard this much of the conversation no I they could be blowing it out of the water like they are right now and it could be not what they're even thinking like god damn it this sport sucks most of the time well then don't be out there competing maybe you should be out there competing thank you See if we can take a look. See him on the inside. Whoa, 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 whoa. Booster, got down on the double yellow line, got a little bit loose. And fortunately, the 43 Daniel Dye realized that Dale yep. Quarterly needed a little bit more room and he yeah, gave you it could, to him. You get your left front on that yellow line, it'll really suck you in. Hi, Moonhead. Did you just hear me talking shit and ranting about how fucking stupid this sport is sometimes? But, dude, you sh she should not be on here, dude, talking shit about nascar she should not be on here talking shit about fs1 she should not be on here talking shit about the the broadcasters in the booth what who the fuck are you to be sitting there fucking telling them how to do their shit right they're the professional in their own you know in, in their own sense and they're good at what they do that's what they do they put on a show it's part of putting on a show they want controversy they want you know the hostility they want a little bit of drama and that's part of it. Who in the hell are you to sit there and tell them how to do their job? Because I'll re say it just for you, Moonhead. <laughs> I'm so angry. You're literally talking about a person that, that gets on eye races and does a little bit of eye races and stuff like that. Now they race a, a stock car, too. So. This sport do be like that sometimes. No, this sport be like that all the time. <laughs> it's ridiculous. You're ridiculous. Uh, moon car. <laughs> it's not moon car. I think car. you missed it. Do I need to? Do Great. I need to talk about it again? <laughs> I heard. I just waited to say hi because I didn't want to fuck you up on the rant. But isn't it stupid, Moonhead? Like, really? God, I hate it. <laughs> I can't wait to tell Derek about it because we did not get to watch this race on TV. I think we were at the track watching it like in person. I don't know what we were doing. Oh, Derek's in here. Derek, did you hear me talking about it? Because I'm so angry and I cannot wait to debrief with you. Dude, I Holy don't. Shit. I, 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 honestly, I have no idea. What, what the fuck is she even talking about? What in this world do you have to be angry about? Like, there is literally no reason to be angry. Like, you know, the whole fact that you're making a big deal out of all this because she is a female, and acting as if it, if they said it about a male, it wouldn't be nothing, or you would laugh about it. You would probably chuckle about it and be like, "Yeah, we don't, we don't lift, lift in the corners, like especially when there's uh, a five car, you know, gap in between you and the car in front of you. Like we're not lifting. This is wide open all the way around there. But just because it's a girl and she's the, she's a badass female driver, she's a badass race car driver. They're fucking stupid and dumb, and they're making her look stupid and dumb, and they're making her look like an idiot and all this other stuff. No, they're not. No, they're not. And the whole fact that you make a big deal out of the shit is the reason why people say the shit like people act that way. Like it, you're condescending what you're saying. Like you're the whole point that you the whole f fact that you make a fucking point out of it or you, you know, you act like you're pissed off about it is the reason why that that's the reason why you, you're doing it. Like, shit. His bro his brother Ron wow. His crew chief was actually they had the roles were reversed because Ron was actually the driver early on and Bob was a crew chief. Ron was also a very good race car driver. Sean Corwin. She she <laughs> is a what? race car driver no matter if I don't she think you guys realize if it's a she it, or like, a how he. I can't get it out of my head right now. God. And it is just a crew chief random. telling a they race car driver like, how to you know, to not radio. to lift in no, the corners. They fucking knew. Oh God. Yeah, and it was controversy. It was a little bit of like, hostility. That shouldn't be okay. That's so fucking mean. It's so mean. You're you're an idiot. You are a literal fucking idiot. I swear to God. I don't know how in the hell they allow you Courtney, to fucking... I got a new camera, a new light. I don't know how in the hell they allow her to fucking drive on pit road, like, 
feet, you know, feet and inches away from other people and, and, you know, going in between fucking cars and shit like that with people running around the cars, changing tires and shit. I don't know how they allow her on pit road. New keyboard, a new mouse. Wait till you see the TikTok. I did an unboxing of the TikTok, but I also did like a really cool, satisfying, like actual unboxing, putting it together, cleaning my stream area. Family owned since 1958. Menards is How many races do I have in contract? Um, well, we're clearly, obviously doing um, Daytona, and then our next one's gonna be Atlanta. Maybe one before that if we can figure some shit out and make it happen, right? Um, but we're really shooting for 15 races yeah. with the same team. And I feel like at home with this team, I really feel like it's like right place, right time. I don't know. Like everything has. You're fucking delusional. If they would allow you to fucking race 15 races or some shit, like how in the fucking hell would you ever consider this girl to be uh top tier, top competitiveness or, you know, like. Girl, I'd, I'd blow your damn doors off if you didn't think so. Like, let's line them up and let's go. Like, put your money where your mouth's at and let's fucking, let's do it. You know, male or female or, or male-dominated sport or whatever the hell you want to call it. Like, I, I promise you every day, like every day of the week and twice on Sunday. Like, you ain't you ain't seen some shit until we fucking hop down and want to go. And I, I promise you this. Like, I, I'm calling you out right now.